Hello, and welcome to another episode of Optimal Anesthesia. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that's crucial in the world of anesthesia heparin infusion and APTT monitoring. So, stick around, and let's make this complex subject as easy as a piece of cake. All right, let's start with the basics. Imagine you're on a road trip, and you need just the right amount of fuel to keep your car running smoothly. Well, in the medical world, patients need a specific dose of heparin to prevent and treat blood clots. But how do you figure out the right amount? Heparin dosing is like calculating fuel for your car. We base it on the patient's weight. Typically, doctors prescribe a bolus of heparin, around 80 units per kilogram. It's like giving your car an initial burst of fuel. After the bolus, it's like a continuous cruise. You start a heparin infusion, usually around 18 units per kilogram per hour. Think of it as your car's steady speed on the highway. But remember, every car is different, and so is every patient. The specific dose may vary depending on the patient's unique situation. It's always best to consult a healthcare professional who will fine-tune the dosage according to what your body needs. Now, let's talk about the secret sauce behind heparin therapy APTT. Activated partial thromboplastin time, or APTT for short, is like your car's dashboard, showing you how everything's running. When you're on a road trip, you wouldn't drive blindfolded, right? You need to keep an eye on that dashboard. Similarly, healthcare providers use APTT to see how heparin is affecting your blood. Here's the deal, APTT helps strike the perfect balance between preventing clots and avoiding excessive bleeding. If APTT is too low, it's like driving too fast on a curvy road, you risk skidding. And if it's too high, it's like pressing the brakes too hard, you might stall. So, how do healthcare providers fine-tune heparin dosages? Think of it like adjusting your car's speed during a road trip. We've got a handy roadmap for you, just like a GPS that guides your medical journey. When APTT results come in, they help doctors make the right call. If APTT is less than 34 seconds, it's like putting your foot on the gas pedal. They may increase the heparin infusion rate by 4 units per kilogram per hour after another 80 unit per kg. And if it's just slightly off, 35 to 59 seconds, they may give it a little more juice, increasing the heparin infusion rate by 2 units per kg per hour after another 40 units per kg. For the Goldilocks range, 60 to 90 seconds, where everything's just right, no immediate changes are needed. When APTT starts running high, 90 to 110 seconds, it's time to ease off a bit, like taking your foot off the pedal. They'll decrease the infusion by 1 units per kg per hour. If APTT is in the 110 to 212 seconds range, it's like realizing you need a slight detour on your road trip. Your healthcare team will make appropriate adjustments, such as decreasing the heparin drip rate by 2 units per kg per hour. Now, if APTT skyrockets above 212 seconds, it's akin to hitting a major roadblock. Doctors will take more significant steps, such as stopping the heparin infusion for one hour, and they'll repeat the APTT to re-evaluate the situation. And there you have it, the basics of heparin dosing and APTT monitoring. Just like a well-planned road trip, it's about finding the right balance, adjusting as you go, and ensuring a safe and smooth journey. But, remember, just as no two road trips are the same, no two patients are either. Individual factors come into play, and that's where healthcare professionals step in with their expert navigation. So, whether you're on a scenic drive or embarking on the road to recovery, always rely on the experts to steer you in the right direction. That's it for today's Optimal Anesthesia. I hope you found this episode both informative and engaging. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy, 
and keep exploring the fascinating world of medicine.